Fumo is my home. I've been here all my life. I love the city. You know, um, growing up was really tough here. You know, so I found myself in the position that I am as an artist, as a photographer now, that um, I'm inspiring kids, the community. So I want to be a part of the change in Baltimore. Yeah, he shows us the city like we otherwise never see it. Photographer Devin Allen using his skill to capture key moments in Baltimore's history. And Lynn, joining us live this morning from outside. <laughs> hey, Lynn. <laughs> he took Denise, a gorgeous uh, picture. Hi. Oh, hi. He took a great picture of you, by the way, and it's black and white. Does he only work in black and white? He prefers black and white, yes. And Denise, I'm going to take that photo, blow it up, and display it in every single room of my house. I would. As you <laughs> I should. As you should. <laughs> Is he, um, I know you, you talked about meeting him for the weeks after you actually got to do this story, so I know he's a really cool guy, but is he self-taught or did he have any formal training? He is self-taught, so it's such a funny story because he said he liked art as a kid, but he would get picked on and bullied, so he kind of gave it up. Then he took up poetry later in life to try to pick up girls. <laughs> didn't work. He said he's not a very good poet. <laughs> so his friends hosted a poetry night, and what he would do was take photos, put them on T-shirts, and sell the T-shirts. People loved his photographs. He fell in love with photographing people. He says he loves that human connection. He loves that moment with the subject. He's taking their photo where they change a little bit. So that the rest is history. He started taking photos. He watched millions of YouTube videos. He devoured photo books, tried to build his specific style. And then he started going out to protest. And that's what kind of got him on the map, his protest photography and his push for social justice, which is really cool. It's so wonderful to see him not using his cell phone. I mean, actually, a real camera. <laughs> yes, and a real expensive camera, too. He had a good story. His very first one was given him by um, Swiss Beat, the musician, <laughs> who was like, wow. I just have this, and I don't use it. You could probably get more use out of it than I can. But now he works with that company. It's a German company directly. And before COVID, he was actually going to go over there and do some work with them. But uh, that got postponed. So hopefully that will happen. And his new book that's coming out later this year, um, it is a collection of short essays, photographs, poetry. He writes some of it. Some other people, artists he's met, write some of it as well. And he says he's hoping to do a book tour for it. He's really excited about that. That would be his first book tour. So looking forward to that book. No, um, Social Justice. Uh, from Black Lives Matter, from the Civil Rights Movement to Black Lives Matter. All right, Lynn, and hey, can I say you've never looked better? This think, is a dramatic photo. I think this needs to go here, though. I think can we just <laughs> post it here and leave it you behind the set? You and all the, uh, the sports heroes. Yeah, we'll Why not? <laughs> post it there, and there you go. That's what we're going to do. Great story, and uh, hopefully, if people had not heard of Devin Allen before, now they have an appreciation of his remarkable talent, and we'll look for that book when it comes out. Absolutely. Thank you, Lynn. Can't wait to see Thanks, you in person. Guys. <laughs> Thanks. Sometime soon. All right, Devin Allen, remarkable talent.